All right, so after that nonsense is over, let's go back to clearing the corridors, shall we? This time with a little bit less failure. Although, <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of failure here just because I wanna show you guys something. Yeah, these Marines are having a bad time. Right, looks like we have a little flood infestation here. Yep. But we have flood with shotguns. Now, I want to uh, show you the next couple of deaths here. Just because you can see how dangerous flood are with shotguns in this game. They are essentially a one-hit kill. They're a one-hit kill from a considerable distance away. There is very little you can do. Um, you have to see them first, essentially, and you have to get the first three or four shots in. Because while they can kill you in one shot, it generally takes you, uh, I'd say, between two and three shots at any kind of distance to uh, actually dispatch one of those guys. Yeah, a little bit one-sided, you could say. This shotgun is not the uh, anti-space zombie beast that it was in uh, the first game. It is still really good. It's just not what it was, unfortunately. Couple that with the fact that you can only hold uh, roughly a third of the ammo that you could in the prior game. But anyway, let's keep sneaking forwards. This is a bad corridor, full of bad flood. And they're going to spawn out on us every now and again. So what we're going to do, we're going to go aggro some of them. And then we're going to run away with our active camo. We're going to get a little bit of help here from some sentinels. Nothing too crazy. But just enough uh, to organize a little bit of a distraction for the flood for us. Which we're going to try and take advantage of. Now those big sentinels. So I was, ooh, we got... Um, we got poppers. Poppers are also really bad in this game because each one of those little grubby spawn bastards can become a flood by reanimating uh, one of the corpses, one of the combat form corpses. So yeah, those big sentinels, they're called enforcer sentinels uh, and they are heavily armed weapon platforms. And they are designed to only be deployed when there is a flood outbreak. And they also act as a command and control um, kind of command unit for the other more basic general purpose sentinels, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't realize that. All right, let's put this shotgun to work. We've blown his arms off, but unfortunately, as long as they're still active, I've got a problem with them. Come on, you. Let's be having ya. Alien to space zombie. One shell at a time. Oh, hello. That was almost a very uncomfortable situation to be in. Now, I'm not sure what triggers the AI for the uh, actual spores. Or well, the infection forms, I believe they're called. Um, to go after the bodies. Because sometimes they'll like latch onto you. You can see them like seeking you out. And other times they'll just grab any body they can find. But then looking down here, doesn't appear to be too many. Alright, let's go aggro the next. Keep an eye on that motion scanner. Oh boy. It's like we found a nest of them. Oof. Careful there. Jeez, almost had her eye out. Well, let's keep his ass warm with some nades. Soften up the flesh, you know. Bit of shrapnel infusion. All right. Oh, here they come. I don't mind it when they have uh, automatic weapons. They're not too bad. Even the, this little guy here doing his very best with the Magnum. Don't mind that. It's the shotgun that provides the problem. And the rocket launcher. 
Yes, they are spicy little sausages when they get that rocket launcher waving in your face. Okay. We can manage this. We can handle a few of these little infection forms. Ooh, really leaning on this shotgun. Although we're rapidly running out of cartridges here. Oh, evening. Okay. Really don't like using these shotgun shells to open doors, but what are you going to do? Oof. Looks like we have some enforcers trying in vain to manage the flood infection. Well, we'll take down as many as we can. A small contribution. But it's getting pretty hot, so let's bounce. Sometimes you got to realize that it's just not your fight. Okay, this place crawls. It's stinky. It's a flood infestation. If I've ever seen one, it looks like we're getting deeper into the nest because the air is stinky and thick with flood spores. All right. They're all around us, man. That guy. Jeez, the ball bearings on him. Fine. Good old painless here. Got us through. You know what? I think it's time that we just move, man. This entire place crawls. Come on, Arby. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to lean on that active camo. Which is incredibly useful, to be fair. Whoa. Get rid of that popper before he bursts his load all over our back. We don't want any of that. Oof. Big boy elite. Buckshot in the face. At least he was an elite. Get out of my face, Sentinel. Negative, ma'am. They are not covenant. Cover that doorway. Yes. The humans are running into these for the first time. Because the flood outbreak, I believe, was quarant um, was... Uh, classified and hushed up by Oni which is the intelligence of the um, UNSC nasty people okay let's go grab our terminal city was not always as it is, nor was the covenant. At one time, it was only San Shayum and Sanghili, but as we grew and new species were added to our number, radical steps had to be taken. Our first encounter with the Let Golo was an effort in futility. The blasphemous creatures had devoured a forerunner orbital, shattering its remains into a trillion pieces. What was left became the rings of Te. As no conventional methods could purge the rings of their infestation, we sent one of our most faithful, an Arbiter. For a full year, this Arbiter ventured across the surface of one of their moons, learning both their strengths and their weaknesses. It was there that we discovered the Let Golo secret. Although some of their kind rightly bore the blame for the orbital's desecration, others had only devoured around the forerunner materials. With reasoning and much labor, these could be used to serve the Covenant. And by these means, the Great Arbiter had given us one of our most sought-after treasures. Access to innumerable processing pathways of the mighty Forerunner Dreadnought. And 
to the many secrets it held. Yeah, so that is the Let Golo. They are um, the worm-like creatures that form scarabs and hunters. They're kind of a sentient race of hive-minded worms. They're kind of an interesting creature, to be honest, but they will eat anything, and they can kind of, like, interface and manipulate machines. So they were instrumental in bringing the Forerunner uh, Dreadnought at the center of high charity back into uh, action. So they're pretty serious, pretty serious race. It's an interesting race. But um, yeah, it's quite pivotal. Anyway, let's keep progressing down this super fun happy slide. Get away from the combat as we can. Although it looks like we're getting deeper into flood territory. You can see the air is getting heavy and thick with flood stink. Ah, outside. The 100,000 year war, still raging. Some things never change. I think uh, Arbiter here is getting a newfound respect for the human shotgun. Oh man, this place. This place is infested. Let's just keep fighting. Keep pushing through. Ooh, hello. Looks like we found our Spec Op commander friend. Arbiter, what are you doing here? We kind of got waylaid, to be honest. Uh, listen to that that sound. Right, let's hold this ground. Reinforcements are coming, apparently. Well, looks like we're pretty much locked in here. The only choice we have is to fight for our survival. Luckily, we have a plasma sword, which we're going to be leaning on quite a bit. You can notice that the... Uh, Flood also have plasma swords. I haven't seen one use one yet. They just kind of wave it around a bit, but I'm pretty sure, given enough time, uh, this is suboptimal. All right, that worked. Okay. Yeah, not really sure how we got taken out by him. I think he just like donkey punched us in the face like a dick. That's okay. Checkpoint was generous. Sometimes when the checkpoint gods smile on you, you're okay. But the reason this video was cut in half was when we originally died in that corridor of death, uh, we got sent back almost to the beginning of the game. In what I can only... Oh, beginning of the game? Beginning of the level. In what I can only say was the worst... Halo 2 checkpoint that I've ever seen, which is why this video was cut in half, in the way it was. Look at that spicy mofo, he had a rocket launcher. We almost had a very bad day. Okay, well, suck that down, rotten freak. Ooh, I smoked him. Although, unfortunately, the uh, infection forms do survive that somehow. Kneel before <laughs> I will not be kneeling before you, sir. Right, we've got one round left in the rocket launcher. Which isn't great, to be honest. Kind of got a little bit confused here because I was like, gee, when does the next wave start? I did start to get concerned that it bugged out. But, well, it kind of had, but not, not in a completely fatal way. I've got to check this little ramp here, because quite often you get the sneaky bastards hiding in there. You 
know there's going to be one little pipsqueak here somewhere. I think, yeah, it's probably a good idea to grab a plasma rifle and get rid of the rocket launcher for now. And on this little rock here, sometimes they spawn and they get stuck. It's annoying because they can't actually move, but they still count towards the wave. You'll get two or three of them stuck here. I actually remember this from the 360. Oh, the original Xbox days. All right, next wave coming. You can tell the wave because you hear the flood, that like really eerie flood roar in the background. Now I do love wielding two plasma rifles at once. It feels amazing. It's not super effective against the flood though, unfortunately, but it's all we have at the moment. Not bad against the flood spores or the infection forms, but then just about anything can handle them. I think the um, I think these hold more ammo than they did in the original one as well. They seem to have uh, better batteries. Okay, not bad. Uh, looks like reinforcements have arrived. Let's melt these guys down. Get it done. Come on. Sterilize the area. And then we can get reinforced. I was going to say there's probably one little spawn somewhere. Uh, I think we're good. We're good. center of this zone is a sacred icon critical to the great journey. I must find it. We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stands in our way. The parasite is not to be trifled with. I hope you know what you're doing. 